everyone, Kathy here from Dirty Booty Soaps. And today uh, I'm doing one last soap before I go on holiday. And we're gonna do a coffee espresso scented scrubby soap. We're gonna be using um, walnut shell powder. And I've got that mixed in right here with a little bit of my soaping oils. And uh, I'm using uh, chocolate espresso and coffee bean fragrance oils in this. It smells divine. And I'm going to share this recipe with you. Um, you can adjust it depending on the size of your batch that you want. Um, I'm going to give you percentages. Um, I'm doing it at a 5% super fat. And what I've got here are point, oh, let's see, 5% castor oil, 25% cocoa butter. I love cocoa butter. 20% uh, shea butter, and that's the, the raw, unrefined shea butter. Uh, same with the cocoa butter. It's got the, the nice fragrance in there as well. So 20% of the shea butter, and then 50% uh, olive oil. Great for your skin. Uh, so again, I said it's a uh, 5% super fat, so you can adjust this, make it your own. I'm using the coffee fragrance, um, and I've blended the, the two oils. It's about 1.3 ounces of fragrance oil, but you can put in whatever fragrance or essential oil you would like into this. Just use the proper amounts. So I got my goggles on. We're going to get mixing here um i did this yesterday this batch and i get about eight bars out of this this uh size recipe that i'm making which is fine so anyway um yeah we're going on our cruise uh leaving in like two nights time so I'm excited for that. We'll have our little granddaughter with us, so that's going to be fun. And hitting up five different islands in the Southern Caribbean, so I really can't wait. I cannot wait. I can't wait to get out of the, the winter zone up here in way, way upstate New York, so... Hopefully, get my blender burps there. I'm not blending this like too awful much. Um, I'm gonna have to invest in a new blender one. I'm not blending a lot because I have these, I want to add this walnut shell in and get it blended in. Now this will be like I said, mildly exfoliating, It'll be really nice. So there's that. We'll give it a zhuzh with the blender. Oh, I just love the smell of coffee. You could use regular brewed coffee in place of your water. Um, you, can, you can research how to do that. I won't get into that here. I used water. But... Uh, and these fragrance oils in this soap uh, contain vanillin. So it will darken as it cures. It will get more brown, this soap. So as you see it a little bit lighter right now, it won't stay that way. Oh, my dogs are going are gonna to freak out here in a second. So I'm going to put you on pause. Hang on just a second. Okay, so yeah, the mailman was just dropping off. 
a delivery, so of course the dogs think he's going to murder them. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, this will discolor with this coffee fragrance. And I'm just going to hand stir this in. And for those of you who keep track of my mother's condition, she's uh, doing uh, so much better right now. Uh, we got her on a uh, really good probiotic that my husband used after he had some uh, issues, shall we say. And uh, that seems to have cleared up any residual uh, effects from her having C. diff and putting it putting her system out of whack. So she's doing really a lot better. And she's gonna be moving back uh, to our hometown here soon. Her, uh, My uncle, her brother, is gonna help, help out and stuff so she won't be alone. So that's a relief. So anyway, like I said, she's doing much better. So okay, so we're just gonna pour this off. I should get about eight bars because it's the same recipe I did yesterday. So giving it another stir here. Filling up to the top. It's uh, very windy. We're going to be having high wind warnings today. Or I should say tonight, I guess, really bad. We could get up to 60 mile an hour winds, they're saying. So I'm sure we'll be hearing that all night while we're sleeping. scrape my bowl down here get these last tidbits of soap out and we'll top these off let's see just trying to make it as even as I can here and I'll give you the recipe one more time here if you didn't catch it at the beginning and I'll post it down below um, I already have one gal that's claimed two of these bars since I put a picture on my Facebook yesterday, so that's nice. So that's why I decided I, I should just, uh, I should make another batch. I'm just going to kind of clean this up here. So there's that. And I'm just going to give it just a little kind of a swirl just to even it all out on the tops. So there's that. Let me get this one. This one's a little off there. Okay, so that's good. Smells delicious, just like a good cup of coffee. Um, now I'll give you the recipe here again. It's at a 5% super fat. We've got 5% castor oil, 25% cocoa butter, 50% uh, olive oil, and 20% shea butter. And this I was using uh, a couple different coffee fragrances. Uh, it totaled about 1.3 ounces of a chocolate espresso and uh, coffee beans fragrance oils. So, smells divine. And I used the ground, uh, it's walnut shell powder. Um, and I really don't give sellers who I buy my supplies from because I usually buy off Amazon and Etsy or Amazon and eBay once in a while off Etsy. But the sellers I get from, there's, there's more than one person that sells these items like molds or um, 
you know, the walnut shell powder. I mean, you can get this from so many people out there and I don't give credit to any one seller unless I'm provided that their product for no charge. So I hope you understand if, if sometimes I don't answer your questions on that. Uh, and usually I don't give recipes, but today I decided to share. So we let these sit for 24 hours and then when we're done, we pop them out of the mold and this is what we've got. A really beautiful sized exfoliating, mild, mildly exfoliating bar of delicious coffee scented soap. There's the bottom. And like I said, these will darken over the course of the cure. So don't expect it to stay this color. Well, the one fragrance oil I'm using is like 9% vanillin and the other is like 1 point something percent vanillin. So these will darken, but that's okay. They smell delicious and they're beautiful color with that walnut shell in anyway. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, enjoy the recipe. Uh, let me know if you try it and how you like it. You can catch us over on Facebook at Dirty Booty Soaps. And we're also on Instagram and, and uh, what am I trying to say? Twitter as well. So enjoy. We're going to zoom in and take a look at the wet soap as well. So there you go. Isn't that pretty? Soap is so pretty when it's freshly poured. So there's the soap freshly poured and here it is after 24 hours. Like I said, it will darken. But anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. If you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe, share our videos. That's how we get our subscribers up there. And check us out over on Facebook. Again, Dirty Booty Soaps. So everybody have a great day and we'll catch you when I get back from the islands, man. Bye for now.